how are you guys now that it's spring breaks over or maybe you guys are still in it how how did everybody enjoy their time off if you got some time off and um i definitely didn't get any time off at work it's like easter spring break we don't get any days off but it's been nice to have warmer weather brighter longer days in today's video i try a couple new products to me they're not necessarily brand new out in the market but they're items from my march boxy charm that i didn't post a video of so sorry i'm I need to make it a priority that as soon as I get the box that I that I record it because the box comes like in the middle of the month and then if I have other videos to record and then I'm, by the time I record it and edit it it's like the end of the month so because I didn't have a a review for the March box I am using all these products here on my channel today as uh, because they are still brand new to me as well as products that I got from the 21 days of beauty sale from Ulta there it's all over the place all kinds of products i hope you guys like this video and if you want to see how i got this look keep watching so i'm gonna start looking like a mess <laughs> because i'm gonna be applying this hydrating eye mask it's from the beauty crop and it is um, focused on using avocado it says it hydrates plums and nourishes so i'm gonna apply those for a few minutes and um so out of the packaging, packaging comes completely sealed um, and I'm going to apply these to my eyes now. Feels really cooling. <laughs> I'm not sure because the weather's not warm, too warm here or because they are usually pretty cooling in the packaging. Okay, so like I said, they're on for a few minutes. I'm going to do my hair and I'll be back. I had some waves in my hair so from yesterday, so it kind of made it kind of easy to make it look decent. Um, the eye mask came off. Now I'm going to go in with Banana Souffle Moisture Cream from Glow Recipe. This is um, another item that is from my BoxyCharm, my April, March BoxyCharm. The, hydrating, the eye masks were, was also a part of my BoxyCharm. Looks like this. As it is, I love bananas, like to eat them. So I'm excited to see if this smells like bananas. Mmm, has this light, like a very light scent, like bananas. It smells like those um candies you get from like the vending machines that you put a coin in, and they're like hard pieces of candy shaped like fruit. That's what this smells like. <laughs> oh, it smells very moisturizing. I usually put on eye cream, but because I did the hydrating mask, I didn't want to do too much because sometimes you get those bumps, you know, when when something doesn't sit well on your eyes. So to not overwhelm it, I didn't do it today. I'm now going to go in with some SPF just to kind of finish this off. Kind of like skincare product that I'm going to use is this, I think, car or car cab, cab lip oil it also came in my boxy charm so it's a hydrating lip oil so i'm figuring it could be used as a lip gloss but i'm sure also as a lip balm i'm gonna use it as a lip balm right now just to kind of give my lips some moisture and see how that works out some of the new products i've been enjoying I've, I've received and that we're trying on on camera okay so now that skincare is done i'm gonna go in with my primer makeup primer new to me is the ordinary high adherence silicone primer the ordinary is known to be a skincare brand and so i was i like to order stuff from them um especially when i place online orders from ulta because at least in store i feel like they don't have a huge selection of their items so i saw that they had a primer a makeup primer i didn't know and so i've actually already tried this one to be honest like two times before today but i i thought i would try it on camera with you guys since it is relatively new to me um it, it claims to be high adherence so like it's gonna the makeup's gonna stick to your face blurring surface smoother and primer so um blur out the pores make your face smoother prime it really well for makeup so i really like the texture it doesn't feel too silicone -y. uh 
so it so far it feels really good i do feel like it also um makeup adheres really nicely from my past experiences with it so we'll see today and we'll let you guys be the judge based on how it looks at the end i'm gonna go in with foundation this one's not uh new to me uh this is the uh color pop no filter foundation you know it's a little white oh you guys know i always struggle with this and add a drop of the Bi It Cosmetics Bye Bye Foundation since this one's a little too light. I do feel like the primer gives a nice canvas for the makeup. It's fill in like those pores. I don't it's very inexpensive. I want to say that I didn't spend more than $7 on the primer. I don't exactly remember to be honest, like the exact amount, but I know it wasn't more, for sure, not more than $10. And if it performs well, and that's gonna be a win. <laughs> Sorry if I look to the side, I have a mirror over here. Now I'm gonna go in with a, a concealer. This is the Tarte Shape Tape, but this is ultra creamy version. So I didn't even know this, this had come out. Um, I found out because the 21 Days of Beauty went on at Ulta and they had this one on sale. And so I was like, oh, I didn't even know that they had come out with an ultra creamy um, version. Had seen that they came out with, a Tarte came out with a creaseless concealer, I think it's called. Something creaseless. And they, a lot of people had said good things about it. But I haven't tried it. And so when I saw this, I'm like, oh, well, let's try it. I love the Tarte Shape Tape. Right, let me look up the claims. See what makes it different than the regular Tarte Shape Tape. Even creamier cushiony formula delivers 24 hour moisturization. So it's supposed to be very moisturizing, not dry, cause the other one was a little drying at times. And it's supposed to be 12 hour crease proof and waterproof. So basically just more creamier, more hydrating, which is something that all of us users were asking as the other one was a little drying at times, especially if you didn't work fast enough with it, it would dry out on your skin. Yeah, it is a lot creamier than the original formula. The other one would have already dried and created like a spot, on a concealer spot on my skin. Well, that's good that they're listening because it really met it's the other one's great you know I'm, I'm not gonna it's it, i'm not gonna take away from it it's great it's super full coverage and especially if you have oily skin it's great that it's dry it's a little bit drying because that way it absorbs your oils but you know not all of us have super oily skin i mean at least not me not anymore <laughs> and sometimes it was just way too fast so it's really nice to have this one that gives really still still full coverage. The coverage is still there, the brightening is still there, but it's a little bit more manageable to work with. I'm gonna use the Tarte um, Shape Tape Powder Foundation. Just kind of set all of my face, underneath my eyes especially. So, so far, I like it. I feel like it looks a little bit more luminous. Like, it is still full coverage, but I think it gives a tiny bit less coverage than the other one. Like, me that I have the hyperpigmentation, I can still see it. And granted, I didn't go in with as much as I used to because this one doesn't come out as much as the other one used to. So now, I'm going to go in with something new to me. Um, this is also from the 21 Days of Beauty. I've been wanting to try this for a, a while. It is the Urban Decay Brow Blade. It looks like this in the box. It looks like this in person. Um, it's a pencil, a brow pencil, but it's also like, it kind of looks like a felt tip eyeliner. It's gonna give you like, you can make hair, hair like strokes with it. Like that's something I need because even though I have full brows, it gets tricky for me not to get bold really fast. I uh, You guys have heard me say that. A lot I feel like the blade will help me mimic hair brow hairs and then make it it more natural so it's literally yeah like like if it was an eyeliner so let's try it out
Easy hug. Kind of gave me some hair like strokes right here because it was it's my the ends of my brows are pretty sparse. I feel like it did feel really nicely because I always struggle with that part because I don't know how to mimic brow hairs at times while get making them look sharp or like a sharp end. So I liked how I did that. This is kind of like a bald spot area for me. This after the arch of my brow. So let's see. Ooh, now let's fill in the brow. And right now, more natural looking brows are the thing. You know, we went through the phase where super carved out brows were a thing. Um, where like the Instagram brows were where it was at but now I feel like we've kind of taken a step back and gone towards like the soap brows where they're super combed out like you can see all your a lot of your hair and also more natural less filled in so I feel like I also have to adapt myself to that because um I actually like the more natural looking brows as well because I, like, I, like I keep saying I have a lot of brows so if I was to do like super carved out brows, super bold, it's gonna look super duper bold. The only thing is I feel like I chose too light of a color. Bra soft, medium brown, maybe like a chocolate would have been good for me. Okay, so far I really like it. I feel like the blade <laughs> per se does give you natural hair strokes. And the pencil is really good too. I'm just gonna go in and clean it up a little bit with the concealer we used earlier. Just a little bit. I don't feel like I need too, too much. First impressions is that the blade is solely for hair, creating hair-like strokes. And it does take, it's a little time consuming, but I think the fact that it has the other end with the pencil really comes in to supplement that. So it's a really nice combination. I enjoyed it. I just think I need to do better at choosing my color. Okay, so now I'm, I'm gonna set the brows with the one I always use, the ColourPop Brow Gel Setter. And now I'm gonna go in and do the eyes. For the eyes, I'm going to be using the Venus 3 Lime Crime Palette. I also got this in my BoxyCharm for the month of March. It's a very pretty purple toned palette. I'm going to do a, a simple but shimmery look if that makes any sense. So let's go for it. So first off, I'm going to just, even though I set the... The concealer with my foundation powder it kind of still is on my creases so even that out then i'm gonna take the color dreamy which looks like this it's a muted pinky purpley shade and i'm just gonna run that through my brow uh, crease area just very lightly The packaging is so pretty. I've actually, I don't think I've ever used like Lime Crime products. I know they've been around for a long time and they're really, they do a really good job at having like the not, the colors that are not super popular. They do a good job at having like out of the box colors, like your neon colors, your red, your reds, blues, like, you know, step outside like the browns and neutrals. But I had never bought it, I, you know, because I, I stick a lot to like the soft glam, the the basic colors. So I had never really like been interested in that. But I got it in my box and I'm glad it's a very pretty palette. Very soft, soft tones. They are very pigmented. Because <laughs> you see, with with one application I was able to cover all of my eyes. I'm gonna go in with this bliss color. It's like a more more towards a cranberry tone. And that one I'm gonna apply it on the outer edge of my eyes. 
even because this has shimmeries and shimmers and mattes, you can you can get a really a lot of looks out of this palette. I'm gonna start at the bottom like I always do and work my way up. I'm going back with the brush that I did my crease to kind of blend out the two, two both tones. They are a little sh chalky because they're not necessarily applying very smooth. Like they give me color, but they don't give intent. Like they don't. Give, they turn out to be a little sheer. They look a little chalky on the eyes. I'm gonna go in with this heavenly shade as my um, main eyeshadow. So it looks brown on the packaging. I don't know if you guys can tell, or to me at least, it looks a little like brown with pink, but then on the eyes, it looks super pink. <laughs> like only the pink shimmers really show up. So I'm gonna spray it a little bit to see if we get more pigmentation out of it. Wetting your your shimmers will give, will bring out more pigmentation, more shim, real shimmer out of it. Maybe I can include some of the Beloved. I'm gonna do that to make to change it up a little bit. I think adding that little bit of the more darker shimmer kind of helped not be so bright. Cause I was really expecting more brown out of that shade. It doesn't look too pink in the packaging. So um, it surprised me when it was mostly pink. It looks really nice. It's such a nice iridescent colors that come out of it. I'm gonna, I wanted to use this shade, so I'm gonna top it off with that shade. This one has like iridescent shimmers on it, so I'm excited to see how that's gonna change up this. And also fill in the gaps where the, sh the other shades didn't cover. Like a cranberry purpley look with a little bit of pink. I didn't mean for that, especially because it's spring. It's a I feel like it's a little bit darker tones. But let's see. I wanted to put this in my inner corner. So I'm going to try that. Should I try it now? Let's try it now. See, see if it, it doesn't ruin my foundation. I'm going to actually take the shade uh, Rapture, which is the soft pink with iridescent, to kind of act as a base to... The shade beam which is the very shimmery pink because like i said sometimes the shimmers will leave skin peeking through and so shades that are more more color in it and besides shimmer can cover that up okay here we go i'm grabbing the this shimmer very pink shimmer beam i'm gonna apply it on the outer corners of the eyes it's very soft. I, I don't know why I thought it was gonna be more intense, which is a good thing for me because I'm gonna wear it to work. So the less shimmery, <laughs> the less vibrant, the better. But you see how that added a nice touch of iridescence to the eyes. Looks very interesting, huh? I'm gonna go ahead and do the bottom part of my eyes. First taking Dreamy, this one right here. And I'm gonna go in with Bliss, which was my second shade. I did not expect Bliss to get so purpley. It looked more to me like a cranberry. Because to me, this was this is purple, right? <laughs> it's looking a little like that on my eyes. Now I'm gonna go in with the clean brush that I had grabbed initially and just kind of blend everything together. Run back my uh, crease brush just to if shimmers got all over the place kind of cover them up line f clean out my outer edge a little bit i'm gonna grab my foundation powder with the brush that i first started this one right here i'm gonna grab some powder just gonna grab it at the ends of the eye just kind of to the foundation powder you know it's supposed to be uh, cover up a lot so it'll cover in hopes that it'll cover up some of that eyeshadow that went outside the eye. So there we have it. I'm not gonna apply any eyeliner today. I am gonna go, and I'm gonna go in with mascara, no lashes. So we're gonna keep it very simple, just to change it up a little bit. You know, a lot of my my glam looks, I always apply lashes and 
do the whole shebang. So none of you guys had um, follow me on Instagram, but if you don't, this is uh, an eyelash curler from the dollar store. Laura Lee um, recommended it, has recommended it a long time ago now, like probably like a year. And um, I hadn't had a chance to try it and I needed a new eyelash curler. So it's not good that I'm doing mascara because I got this in from Ulta, also from the 21 Days of Beauty. It's the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara, but they collaborated with a couple uh, beauty creators. One of them being uh, I Love Sarai, if you guys can see her face right here. I love I Love, I love Sarai. Her content is so great. She's so, she has all kinds of content. She does workout, obviously makeup or, and beauty is her number one, but she does uh, also workouts, cooking, lifestyle, home decor. So, and I can also relate to her a lot because she's also uh, Mexican American. She lives um, in Southern California. So it's, it's really nice. The Better Than Sex Mascara was on sale and at the 21 Days of Beauty. And they, I'm glad they also had these versions with the, influencer so i picked it up because this is a recent collaboration it's probably like max two months old as it is i really do like this mascara the better than sex this, this mascara is a good mascara i'm not gonna say it's the best mascara ever but it's really good it's one of the first ones that really changed the mascara game you know mascara has always been great you know we always need mascara but like a mascara that lives your eyelashes keeps the curl makes them voluminous it, years ago not not many mascaras could do that and this one was one that really came and changed it i personally don't like the name i don't think we need to include that kind of name in a mas especially in a mascara you know but i guess we have to deal with it if we want a good quality mascara something that's hard for me to do on for first impressions is mascara i feel like i don't know what do you guys think i feel like the first couple of times mas the, a new mascara is not good i feel like like it needs to get like a little bit dry not as wet and get and it'll get really nice consistency and application so i pardon if this gets a little messy it's just that when mascara is too wet it's kind of hard to control it because i'm not applying any falsies i feel like i had to try a little extra <laughs> with the mascara okay now let's uh sculpt the face we're gonna do a little bit of bronzer contour blush i don't have any new products for this um a lot of my new products as you guys have seen come from my boxy charm and the 21 days of beauty i do have more stuff that's coming in for the 21 days of beauty that just didn't make it on time because that that sale just ended i'm recording this on monday april 5th and the sale ended i believe the third on saturday so for example i ordered some of the kkw lip liners i've i've heard that they're really good and they're on sale for six bucks i think they're normally 12 bucks so being half price i i went ahead and bought some of them Two of them to be specific and so look i posted the 21 days of beauty flyer on my um instagram and i always i try to always do because for me it's such a good opportunity to get good products on sale and i'm sorry that my new products are not as brand brand new as typical beauty creators you know i don't have the stream of income that they have so you guys know I also don't like to buy things at full price, so I'm sorry that if they're items that you're like, um, I've already tried them. They're not new to me. <laughs> they're not new to me. I understand, but I hope that if you haven't tried these, that this will be of interest to you. So now we're gonna go in with blush. Kind of thinking what I should do with for blush since this is such a bold pinky look i'm gonna go in with this ColourPop vogue press powder blush um it's a very nice muted rosy tone and i feel like it's gonna go very well kind of like a monochromatic with this look i also like that it has a flower shape <laughs> that primer is doing really well i feel like it creates such a nice canvas for the skin like really smooth all over. Like even though I, I have pores, I have um, scar scars. I feel like it's still 
like just kind of smooths everything out and makes the application go on evenly okay blush is on obviously i'm gonna kind of just pat it in more i love blush i love blush since forever i grew up with my mom putting lipstick as blush so you can imagine how vibrant that was she would grab a little bit of lipstick and just kind of pat it into her cheeks like red lipstick just to give that natural flush so ever since then i've always been more of a blush girl than than even than contour even when contour was the main attraction you know you remember the super contoured looks i've always loved blush and so i'm so happy that now like a lot of blush is a thing for highlight today i'm gonna go in with this uh on the cusp super shock cheek highlighter this is in collaboration with kathleen lights and color pop i'm sorry if it's out of stock it's just like a really nice pink for this look and I apply it with a beauty blender. Well, ColourPop has a lot of super shock shadows still available on their site. So I'm sure you'll find a shade that's very similar to this. This one's just like a nice pinky, like salmon-y tone. And I feel like it's going to make a very nice contrast with the very muted pink that I have going on. I know you guys can see that mascara on my eyeshadow. I'm going to take it away right now. I just needed it to really dry down. So you guys saw me put on the lip oil in the beginning, kind of like lip balm. Now I'm gonna go ahead and do my lips and apply it as a lip gloss. See how that works out. Go in with Dulce from Mar Cosmetics as my lip liner. Okay. And I'm gonna go in with the, my, the new lipstick that I always go in with. Boy from Colourpop. So these are more muted, more neutral tones. Okay. And I'm gonna go in with the oil, see how that performs. See if I can use it as a lip gloss. And if you don't want your lip gloss to turn the color of the lipsticks you apply, you have to clean it up after every application. Cab lip oil. It makes it really high shine. I really like that. Okay, so another new product to me that's also from the box. We're pretty we're done with our makeup. I told you guys that it was gonna be an easy look. Something I am gonna do is curl my eyelashes to give it that oomph. This is the Maven Beauty Rose Water Setting Spray. This gives you this claims to give you 16 hour wear makeup. Like, when I read this, I was, like, surprised because it's supposed to be super long-lasting um, makeup application. Like, won't your makeup won't smear whatsoever. That's what it claims to do. Um, it says, mist all over your finished look to lock it down and prevent smudging for up to 16 hours. And um, my friend, uh, Venenisa, she has, like, a little sh um, beauty shop. Um, you can find her on um, Instagram. I'll put it um, right here. And in San Luis Sonora, Mexico. And she posted a video of it, like a girl applying it and her makeup not moving. Like not moving at all. So it's definitely something interesting to try it out. Like I said, I got it on my BoxyCharm box. But you can definitely also get it from her. You know, I don't know her shipping it or anything. But you can contact her and I'm sure she can make something work in the states and in mexico so this is a finished look what do you guys think do you guys like it i feel like it's simple like not too much not the whole shebang like i already said but still like some color and trying different products everything has worked out nicely so far i think my favorite product was this i i'm really starting to love this because i feel like it gives a, a seamless um canvas for for makeup and i also the palette was okay i think that the quality of the shadows could be better i think that 
the concept is really nice the packaging the color scheme is really nice but it could perform a little bit better especially for a brand that's been in business for a while the mascara i had already used it it was nice packing is super cute um because it has like a, a pink marble and gold very i love sad eye style and the concealer worked nice i think it's gonna be great for those with dry skin compared to the og sharp uh, tart shape tape and the brow blade from urban decay was really nice too i think i am gonna get really good use of it help me not get so bold with my brows which the lip oil feels nice on the lips hope that it'll be long lasting that would be my only concern like is it gonna go away um by just like one hour of wear what else did we try today the moisturizer was was nice it felt nice application i won't be able to tell if it's gonna if it really moisturizes my skin long term until i get a couple use of it but it smells great i it smells like like a slight scent of banana the um hydrating eye masks avocado eye masks did feel nice on the skin i'm always looking for eye masks as i have said in a previous video i'm i want to get as many as possible to have them and use them daily if i make time for it and what else did i have today i think the rest was just stuff that I've used in the past, if I'm not mistaken. But uh, overall, very pleased with the with the look. I think um, it was fun trying new products. I hope you guys like first impressions, trying new products. Leave me down your comments for any new products that you would like to try from this or that you're currently trying because of sales or because of things that are coming out brand new from different brands. Thank you guys for watching. Bye.